Hi, my name is Mr. Chu and welcome to my study room. Today, in my study room, we are solving questions 10 and 14 of the 2023 WASI Core Mathematics Objective Paper written by Nigeria. And the question 10 reads, M varies jointly as the square of N and the square root of Q. If M equals 24 when N equals 2 and Q equals 4, find M when N equals 5 and Q equals 9. This is a variation question. More importantly, joint variation. So, the key things we would like to see here is the fact that M varies jointly as the square of N and the square root of Q. This will help us write the relationship. So, the relationship is going to be M varies as the square of n and then the square root of q right then by introducing equal to sign m equals we introduce our own k which is a constant of proportionality multiplying n squared and then the square root of q then now we substitute these values appropriately so wherever we see m we put 24 equals i want to put the k last so n is 2 2 squared multiplying the square root of q which is 4 then we bring our k now so that implies that 24 will be equal to 2 squared is 4 multiplying square root of 4 is 2k and 24 will be equal to 8k dividing both sides by 8 3 will be equal to k then now we are going to plug the value of k into this relation here so let's do that our equation now becomes m equals 3 n squared multiplying square root of q and now the question asks us to find the value of m when n equals 5 and q equals 9 so we're going to substitute 5 here and then 9 here to see what we get so m equals 3 multiplying 5 squared then this multiplying the square root of 9 and this gives us 3 times 25 times 3 3 times 25 is 75 times 3 is 225 and that is option D So m will be equal to 225 when n equals 5 and q equals 9. And remember, we wrote the proportionality statement after which we solve for the value of k, which is the constant of proportionality. And to find that, we need to know the value for each of them except the k. That helps us to find the k and after that we substitute this into it. Let's now get on to question 14. Question 14 is simple. We are to make x the subject of the relation here y equals ax cubed minus b all over 3z. Let me write that relation again. So, to make x the subject, we need to get rid of the fraction first, and that will be by multiplying both sides by 3z, and that will give us 3yz equals a x cube minus b then now we add b to both sides and that gives us 3 y z plus b equals a x cube now we are solving for x so whenever a number is multiplying a variable we divide through by the number 
but this time is a so it's the same thing that we're going to do so we divide both sides by a so divided by a divided by a and that gives us 3yz plus b all over a equals x cube how do we get rid of the cube because we are solving for x yeah i'm sure you are telling me we take the cube root so let's take the cube root of this side and whatever we do to the left we do the same thing to the right but this time is whatever we do to the right do the same thing to the left so cube root so the cube root cancels the cube and we're now going to have the cube root of 3yz plus b all over a and that gives us x and this is the same as option b which is x equals cube root of 3yz plus b all over a and i hope this lesson has been of help to you if yes then kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more videos till we meet again bye bye